Hi, Faith Finders. Welcome to another Random Saturday. My name is Elise, and I am at Christ Lutheran Church in Orland, Pennsylvania. You guys know how important it is to be generous, don't you? I mean, God wants us to give to other people, and giving feels great. When someone really needs help and you come through, it's the best feeling. It would be amazing if everybody understood that, right? But sadly, there are some people who don't understand that at all. They're takers, and they take and take and take, and they never give to anybody. And what's really sad is that these people are not happy. Well, today, I'm going to tell you a story about how important it is to be givers and not takers. Once upon a time, there was a woman who wanted to find out where the givers go and where the takers end up. So she was led into a room and this room had a beautiful table all set up for a big dinner party. Everything looked lovely. There was amazing food. There were people sitting around the table. But then the woman noticed that those people didn't look happy. They looked miserable and they looked hungry. Then the woman noticed that everyone had long, long spoons stuck to their arms like this, so that when they went to eat, they could reach the food, but then they couldn't, couldn't get it back to their mouths. Wouldn't that be a bummer? A table full of wonderful food and not being able to eat any of it. So then the woman walked into the next room and she was really confused because it looked exactly the same as the first room. It was another table all set up for a beautiful dinner party, people sitting around, only these people were laughing and having a wonderful time. What was the difference? Well, the difference wasn't the place. The difference was the people. You see, in this room, the people had spoons strapped to their arms, just like in the first room. Only these people were using their spoons to feed each other. They had figured out right away that it was better to give, to share. And this way, everybody would get all the food that they wanted. But the sad, hungry people in the first room, they were so used to being selfish that they didn't even think about sharing their food. You see, givers get used to being givers, and takers get used to being takers. Well, that day, that woman learned a little bit about what heaven must be like. And she also learned how she could bring a little bit of heaven into the world, too. Well, now, we may not have spoons strapped to our arms, but there are times that all of us need a little help. And there are times that all of us can help other people. And when we do that, when we learn to be givers, then everyone gets as much of everything as they could possibly need. And that's what God wants for each one of us. So this week, I want you to remember the story of the spoon and think about ways that you can be givers. And when you do that, you can bring God's heavenly kingdom right here into the world. Well, that's it for Random Saturday. Tune in tomorrow for Sabbath Sunday, and I will be back next week. For now, God bless you. Bye, Faith Finders.